right guys uh, today's video is gonna be on my weekend long Havasack uh, bushcraft trip this will be the first time I'm not using a traditional backpack I'm just using my bedroll and my uh, my Havasack right so I also have my bushcraft belt underneath all of that underneath my hoodie um, this will be pretty much like a minimalist weekend right so I always wanted to try it and this is what uh, trying it is going to look like today or tonight sorry it's going to get down to I think 13 degrees and tomorrow night it's going to get down to 7 degrees um, I did bring a, a backup bailout kit if you will which just consists of a tent uh, a four season one person tent and my uh, zero degree sleeping bag so the object of this weekend is to last the entire weekend inside my uh, I mean sorry in the uh, tarp with a fire in front so I'm gonna build the fire that's uh without question and I am going to uh, I also have plastic just in case I need to make it a super shelter I'm gonna see how it fares so my bedroll real quick is uh two wool blankets queen size and a twin uh, i'm hoping that should be fine and enough uh, with the fire going i should be good to go so we'll see uh how it turns out All right guys so stay tuned Okay, YouTubers, uh, this is my camp for the night. I didn't, I wasn't able to uh, camp out last night. Winds were pretty high, and uh, I took too long building my shelter. Uh, as you can see, I'm raised up. Uh, that took a while, and uh, I just, I took too long. So. I called it quits last night, halfway through. I got up early in the morning and finished it. And uh, this is what it looks like now. I will film in the morning so you guys get a better picture of what this looks like. So I have the fire going. The reflective wall. I have some rocks here to help reflect the heat better. Um, so that's pretty much it. I have a ton of wood over here if you can see it hold on right there goes the wood um it's a lot i have a picture of it earlier i'll show it to you now so anyway um someone dropped this wood off for me so they heard i was doing this felt bad and uh gave me a ton of wood for the night it's supposed to get down to three degrees i guess the real feel is like minus one or two but i have a zero degree bag which i had to get out of my car um i had to get the zero degree bag out of my car i had to give a wool blanket to a buddy of mine who wasn't uh not that he wasn't prepared but it was colder than he thought so i gave him an a pack of wool blanket and i had to break out my zero degree bag so this is it, and I do have the um, air mat underneath. I have a plastic sheeting protecting the airbag. So this is pretty much it, guys. This is, uh, this is what my night is looking like. I am gonna expand the fire for those who uh, go long fire freaks. Uh, I'm gonna expand it. Getting, I'm spreading the hot coals out, and then I'll be able to lay the longer logs on top. Alright guys, uh, see you in the morning, hopefully. Okay guys, uh, this is obviously the uh, next morning. Got my fire going again, boiling some water. Uh, this weekend, the half attack trip weekend was a bust. Um, I still got to sleep under the tarps I bought in the haversack. Um, 
you know, use my water container and cup that I bought in Haversack, but in the bedroll, I had two wool blankets, and I think I stated earlier uh, that I had to give one up because one of the guys that came with me, he didn't have, it was too cold for him. So I had to lend him my uh, merino wool blanket, and I took the Teton uh, sleeping bag out of my truck and used that as a uh, as part of the uh, sleeping shelter. I mean, as you can see, I have two tarps up. I have the Ultimate Survival uh, Technology tarp up and the basic all-weather uh, tarp. I thought the Ultimate Survival Technology tarp was going to be a lot bigger than it is, and it wasn't. It was small, so I combined the two, as you can see. Um, I have a trucker's hitch here. Right, there goes the trucker's hitch. And, uh, yeah, I wasn't, I mean, you know, I wasn't too, um, happy with having to give up my wool blanket, but safety over uh, pride, right? So, I'm going to try to have a sack outing again, uh, but, you know, shit happens, right? So, oh. There goes uh, my back wall, which helped a lot. Cut the wind down. The rocks help reflect the heat. Um, stayed pretty warm, except for the, those periods where the fire died down. As you can see, um, I made a raised bed, which I've uh, my second time doing. This took a whole hell of a long time doing it by itself. The last time I did, I didn't. Uh, Canterbury School. Um, this is some of the wood my buddy dropped off after hearing I was going to do this. Said he was a little concerned because last night got down to minus uh, six, come to find out. So, thank you, uh, Al, for the wood. And as far as uh, the raised bed goes, like a quick tip. I cut notches in here, as you can see, I cut notches in there to keep the wood stable so it doesn't, you know, roll out and the rest of the wood with it. You can also take the plastic sheeting you see there in the end, roll a part of it, set it down, roll a part of it at the front, set it down, and it locks everything in the in, the, uh, in between uh, nicely. So you can also do that. You can do that with a blanket or anything that you're gonna lay down on. I use some plastic sheeting to protect my, uh, if you can see here, to protect my air mat. I didn't want it to get, uh, didn't want it to get damaged. All right, well, there goes my haversack up there in the corner, the, the Hidden Woodsman haversack. I'll tell you the best on the market. All right, so, guys, uh, sorry that it wasn't Everything I said it was going to be, I just wanted to put this video out to show that I made an attempt and didn't quit. Uh, my bailout tent, which I bought just in case things got bad, I used it the first night because things got bad. And I didn't fin like I said before, I didn't finish the race bed. But my tent is a quarter mile away from here. Um, it also, I did that because I didn't want it, the temptation to send me back to my tent but being that I was warm enough here all night the temptation never entered my mind all right guys uh this is the angry prepper uh, you can follow me on first of all could you please like and subscribe to my channel like and subscribe to my urban channel and uh you can follow me on instagram facebook tumblr google plus and twitter all right, guys, thank you for watching.